Hello! Oh, why did I drop my hand in that? Yeah, like I said in my other video, but you will see this video before, but the light will probably be turned off and I don't know why, it's either a ghost or my neighbor that has the same type of remote solution that I have and I'm choosing to believe that it's the neighbor thing and not the ghost thing. But if it turns black, yeah, you know why and yeah, let's pray it's not a ghost. Uh, today I'm doing the least favorite shades in 20 palettes and it's the same palettes that I uh, had in uh, my video where I did my favorite shade in 20 palettes. Uh, so I will do this concept you know further along as well so I will take 20 new palettes and do favorite shade and least favorite shade and so on. Um, and I'm suspecting suspecting that there will be a lot of browns a lot of matte browns and a lot of bone colors yeah that's what i'm suspecting maybe some bad i know one shimmer that will be in this but yeah so i'm hoping that i'm even even taking them in the same order but who knows but yeah let's start with the magic palette I'm not saying my favorite shade again. You will have to go watch that video. But yeah, it looks like this. And my least favorite shade. I was thinking, you know, the brown. But then also this shade because it's so weird. I don't know what I would use it for. But for some reason, I'm just getting the feeling. <laughs> I like that a bit better. So it's the brown color. Nana! Okay. Why did I do that? Stupid. Okay, so let's swatch that. Starting out with, uh, let's see, matte brown. And now we are trying to fit everyone. It's an okay brown in my book, but you know. I can totally do a brown look, but it's my least favorite color. Favorite shade, favorite color, but yeah. So it looks like that. Then we have the certified tropical wonders, <laughs> and it's I think, or is it the black? But I use the black a lot. But I think it's that shade. It is a mustard shade, kind of. But I think I actually like the white better. No, I can't take the mustard. I love mustards. It looks a lot prettier. No, I can't take that shade. No. It will have to be the white. Usually I would take the black because I don't use black a lot. But this black I actually do use. So I take in the white. I don't know if it will show up. Ooh, because it is a matte and it's very crumbly. Yeah, it kind of shows up. Like that. But I like most of these colors. They are so pretty. Oh, I can put this back now. Because I have that palette in my project pan. Come on. Then we have the Venus 2 by Lime Cry. And. Oops. Hmm. I think it would be the mud shade. Not a typical boring color, but in this palette, it is the most boring one. The shades in this palette has really good names, except the fly one. Oh, that was pigmented. Ooh. So far only mattes. Like that, but don't you worry, there will be at least one shimmer. 
and I don't know if there were yeah never mind then we have the color splurge from Labelle and it's the black I don't like swatching blacks but yeah and it's called blackout Ooh. black usually don't swatch very well and it pain to get off Ugh. yeah come on so yeah I like all the other colors in this yeah it's such a pretty shade uh, palette so yeah Ugh, boring then we have the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. Oh, this will be hard. There is no shade I don't like in this one. So I'm going to pick a color that is my least favorite, but it will still be a color that I love. That's the case with this palette. And it's the shade Aubergine, I think. Oh, nice with a purple. I have nothing against this shade, but like I said, if there is one color that I have to choose, it's this one. Oh, now it's going. Whee! Let's not do that. Then we have the ooh, Urban Decay buys one and it's you know like I said it's so dirty <sighs> here's a lot of boring shades in this one and some I have never used and that's also because you know there are some kind of boring shades like these two but I use them so it's not my you know least favorite shade Those two look like exactly the same shade. Yeah. I'm going to take Echo Beach. That shade. It's a shimmer. It's a shimmery, goldy, brown, beige. I don't know. It's been a while since the light was turned off so it will be probably any moment now like that Ooh. yeah then we have the smoky obsessions from huda beauty and i have only used that shade in this one but oof. It's one of the browns, you know. Let's take the lighter one. Ooh. Oh, that did not swatch very well. But you know, that does not mean that it don't perform on the eye. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. And now we have... I'm going through this a bit faster, I think, than when I was doing my favorites. Now we have the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. Hmm... That was hard because you know the light shades are really boring but I don't like that shade either I'm taking the blackberry shade it's like a purpley brown it's nothing wrong with it but it's my least favorite shade Oof, this is going bad 
Ugh, what a boring palette. That fun uh, shade is actually the most fun. That. Then we have the electric palette. And now there will be a shimmery shade. Because it's that one. Uh, it's Revolt. It's so hard to use. You get glitter everywhere when you use it. It's a silver, but it doesn't look that good when you put it on the eye. Just because you get it everywhere. That's what I don't like about it. But I think that will be the most boring shade anyway in this palette. That will always be like that when there is color. Ooh. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, maybe I will fit them all. And then we have Too Faced Sweet Peach. And there's a lot of brown in this. Ooh, I just, oh God, I have a lot of fallout I can see now. Yeah, never mind. You have to live with that. Okay, which brown should we pick? I think that shade is the one I would use the least. And it's called Charmed, I'm sure. Well, no. Oh, and I put my nail in the other one. Good job. Blup. Boring. <sighs> and now we have the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, the Meadow Palette, and it's that shade, I can tell you right away. I don't know if I have used that, because I didn't know that it was in there, because I usually don't see it, so... I will not fit them. Oh. And then we have the LA Splash Classic Horror Palette. Am I making that sound with everyone? Yeah. And I think it will be Lights Out. It's kind of a black gray. Ooh, no, it's a black. And it's, oh, and it's black. That is just one swipe. Okay, not taking more of that. Ugh. That is one that will be hard to remove, I'm thinking. Ugh, I will have a black stripe at work tomorrow. And then we have Kat Von D, the Chrysalis, 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 I don't know. And I think it's that shade or that shade, but I'm taking that shade. I don't know why there is such a big one. But, oh, it's so soft. You can barely see it. Then we have the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. And it's that shade, I can tell you. Luna. There's a lot of matte shades here, like I predicted. Oh God, it's crumbly. And I still have black everywhere. And then we have the Caramel Melange <laughs> from Sueva. And this is hard because that shade I will usually take, but I use that a lot. 
Mm, I will take that shade, the white shade. It's called wax paper. Okay. God. The Paulina palette is the most fun one and the UVS place one. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, five left. Oh, I could have just counted the ones over here. But yeah, now we have Too Faced Loves Sephora. Is that an eyeshadow? Yeah, I think it is. Behind the counter. I don't think I have used that one. It's the only one I haven't used, I think. And it's a brown. This is almost like a contour shade. Brown gray. There is a shade there, actually. Oh. Please don't fall. Let's put it over here. Then we have sauce box, uh, the battle lash for a sauce box palette. <laughs> and it's that shade. That was easy. Oh, next one will be hard, I think. Now I'm almost not see what I'm doing here. God, that purple is so off here. <laughs> Black, beige, brown, white, and kind of purple and orange. Then we have the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters. Oh, I think the white one in here. Yeah, definitely the white one. Oh, look at that shade. And that, and that. Oh, they are so pretty. This is a lot easier than picking the favorite one. Two palettes left! And we have Weekend Festival from BH Cosmetics. And it's that color, I think. Hipster. The brown, but I have used it, I can see. Yeah, because I did a neutral look, yeah. Let's see, oh, please don't get eyeshadow on the face. Hmm. Yeah, great swatch. And one palette left. And the lights have not been turned off. And it's the Flamingo palette from Violet Voss. Hmm. It's one of these. It's good to swatch them because then I could definitely see it's the sand one. <laughs> that shade. Ooh. It's kind of my skin tone. <laughs> Oh God, look, here are my least favorite shade in the same 20 palettes. That's the only fun shade, the purple one from the Paulina palette and you know the orangey one from orangey brown from UBS Place. But the other one is a sad neutral palette, oh God. <sighs> I don't have any, oh, what's it called? Condition. I don't know. Oh, look. Ugh. So boring. Ugh. Let me see. Ugh. Yeah, let's go wash this off. But yeah, 
So I, uh, even though these are all great palettes with a lot of fun colors, you could easily get a boring look with it. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, that's the kind of only shade from the Paulina palette that I don't think is boring at all, but I had to choose one. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was that video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I thought it was fun to do anyway. <laughs> uh, so, bye!